Scenario 1, an OSPAR SATA port for a replacement storage. We have to remove the affected storage to have an available SATA port. Removing this drive due to smart drive warning. Do make sure to note the correct serial number before physically removing the drive, and also, don't forget to back your files up before removing the storage and rebuilding the pool. 1. Shut computer down if storage device isn't hot swappable. 2. Disconnect affected storage from computer. 3. Install replacement drive. 4. Reboot computer. Five, ensure storage devices are good by checking overall smart status and hardware info or check status of device using Crystal Disk Info. Crystal Disk Info download link for Windows will be in the description field below. Six, enter storage space and add storage into the pool. In my case, it started optimizing the drives. Otherwise, wait for pool to complete repairing before removing the damaged storage. As shown here, the damaged storage is being prepared for removal. Repair pool needs to be finished first before we can remove this. If repair progress is not shown, click on change to reload the window and help initialize the repair. if repair still won't start even after optimization of the drive. On the damaged storage, click on Remove Initiate Repair. It will fail to remove the storage since pool isn't repaired still. But it will initiate the repair process. Now repair has initiated. Both optimization of the drive and repairing of the pool may take a while depending on the size stored in the storage. Now that the repair process has completed, you may remove the drive. This process shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Now that it's removed, the storage pool is all set. Scenario 2, able to add another drive into the pool without removing any drives that's currently in the pool. In Manage Storage Spaces click on Change Settings and add in your spare drive. Though it doesn't really take that long to add a new drive into the pool, the process of removing the undesired storage will. The time it takes for it to finish prepping for removal will depend on the size stored in the storage. Interesting note, on the left side of the screen, notice the read and write activity of the drives. The reading activity is being done by both of the drives that was originally in the pool. And yes, even the failed drive is helping in the repair process. While the writing activity is mainly on the new drive we just added in. After about 7 hours, the drive is finally ready to be removed. Checking the status of the pool, it seems that everything is set. Hope you guys find this helpful. Until next time.